coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Mickey Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal. This is my partner, Nikki Snacks, and as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this NFL's action. You seem like you're in a great mood today. I am. I am in a great mood. Why don't you tell the you audience why? You guys know why. You know why. I went 3-0. and 3-0. Oh. Oh. See, that's all right there. 3-0. and oh. Yeah. How's it feel? It feels good, right? It's, I've only done it three times this year, so it feels good. I'm going to show you how it feels. We have a... Oh, hold on. We have a green screen now. I don't even know what setting we're in right now. So, green screen change to Titanic. I'm the king of the world! I'm king of the show! I'm king of the show! They, uh, they, um... I can see the Statue of Liberty. I can see the Statue of Liberty. I can okay. see the Statue of Liberty. I'm king of the show! I hope that worked. What's your overall record? Overall record is 10 and 20. My first 20. pick of the week. 10 and 20. You're rolling, baby. You're rolling. Stay hot. Stay hot. You know what? I was just going to give my first pick, but since you're the 3-0 and man this week, you do the honors. Start the losing uh, the Yeah, I went 3-0. Right. You went 1-2. Yeah, it happens. Fine. It's not yeah. It's not a big deal because you still have such a great record. So. You do. 19-11. and 11. I'm going to take that. Yep. So 9-1 and one on big locks. My first pick. No more analysis. That's all out the window now, by the way. It's just nicknames and whatever. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cardinals at the 49ers plus 10 and a half. Cardinals almost won this game last time. So, yeah, listen, they're going the 49ers are going to make adjustments. I get it. But 10 and a half, that's a lot of points. This was the theme last week. Double digits. It's hard to win double digits in the NFL, especially in a division game. Mm. Especially in a division game. Car so, Cardinals are playing good, too. Cardinals are playing good football, too. Christian Kirk had a monster week last week. And... I just think that they're the Fraudy Niners. The Fraudy Niners, we saw them beat up on teams earlier in the year that weren't that good. And now, you know, people are starting to get on. They're, they're starting to see how to beat them. How to beat them. And I think we're going to see a close game. I'm not saying the Cardinals win. They're not going to win this game. But it's going to be a close game. Ten and a half, easy money. One and zero. There we go. I'm one and zero. One and zero already. One and zero. Just like that. It's not a bad pick. I kind of like that pick, and I'm going to stick with a uh, with a road dog as well. Um, I'm going to take the Houston Texans plus four against the Baltimore Baltimore Ravens. I almost said the Orioles. That's a bad organization. Against the Baltimore Ravens. You're probably thinking I'm nuts. I think Baltimore wins this game, and I think it's by three points. I think it's a walk-off field goal. I think it's going to be a tight, close, contested contest. But I see Deshaun Watson finally putting out what Lamar Jackson's doing. He's Lamar Jackson's getting all this hype, and rightfully so. He's been unbelievable. He really has been. But people are forgetting about Deshaun Watson and how good he is. And I think he takes the stage against Lamar Jackson, puts up numbers, puts up points, covers the four points. Boom. Just like that. I'm not getting comfortable right now. Well, when you're 3-0, you, you, it's tough to get comfortable. You always want to be on the move. It's got a technical mic issue here. This is just, I think this is a sign of things to come. It's what happens when you sail the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, mic is fixed. And I just want to say something. Listen, I went 3-0 last week, and there was a lot of people who, who've doubted me this entire time. There's been people who have been sleeping on animal, they've been fading animal, talking shit. I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you. Right there, behind the camera. I got one more. You, you fucking elf. Don't look at me. Don't fade, animal. We're going to go 2-0 right here with the Dallas Cowboys at the Detroit Lions minus four. I don't know if Matt Stafford's playing yet. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the Lions are done. The defense is done. They can't do anything on defense. Dak Prescott showed us how elite of a quarterback he was when he when he almost won that game against the Vikings. He was just like, I'm Dak Prescott. I'm elite. Throwing the ball. 
And I, uh, but then we took the ball and gave it to Zeke and we lost because we didn't give it to Dak, who's elite. So Dallas Cowboys at Lions minus four. That's easy. Dak's, Dak's going to win that game. The Dak Cowboys are going to win that game by four plus four plus four. 16 points. 16 points. And that's it. Um, Snacks, you can uh, give us your pick now. Dallas at Lions minus four. Okay. Um, it's not a bad pick. It's just it's really your analysis is just getting better and better for each game. Yep. So I really am glad to see it. I'm honored to be sitting next to you, and I'm honored that I get to watch Patrick Mahomes play football each week now that he's healthy again. And I'm going to take them as a road favorite. Well, not even. They're technically on the road, but isn't the game in uh, Mexico City Monday night? Uh, I don't know. Either way, doesn't matter where they're f-ing playing. They could be playing on a JV football field. The Chiefs are going to kill the Chargers. The Chargers suck. Okay, they're bad. Phillip Rivers looks like an atrocity. I know that Kansas City defense is 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 beyond fixable. It's really bad. But sometimes the perfect recipe is a sh- quarterback, and that's exactly how Phillip Rivers has been, been playing. So I think Patrick Mahomes puts up a 50-burger, and I think the Chiefs win easily by more than four points. Lock that some bitch in now 50 burger huh yeah okay yeah i can see it listen they haven't 50. been they haven't been that that team and they need they're gonna need to score to win these football games so patrick mahomes is the just defense gonna rev doesn't it up. yeah so they they do need to score yeah okay i'll take that i'll they give prob- you that probably win 50 to 43 nah, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say that but i'll give you the i'll give you the cover i'll give you the cover well that's now. And also, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you our big dog pick of the week. Let's go to Nick. Take it away, Nick. Great name. Good morning, men. My lock of the week: Baltimore Ravens minus four at home versus the Houston Texans. High scoring affair. Two MVP candidates. I think it's decided in the fourth quarter. Ten point win for the Ravens at home. Book it. Lock it. Let's go. All right. Wow. Going against the Snackinator. There's a lot of the big dog picks going against Snacks. Well, so far, it hasn't been, it hasn't been doing them any favors. But I yeah, like whatever it. Whatever the uh, big dog record is, it's on the screen right now. I don't know it. So it is a winning record, though. I do know that. So congratulations, big dogs. Woof, woof. Doing great. Doing great. Oh. Did, did you hear that? I do hear something. I hear something, too. Oh, there it is again. I think it's time for the big locks. Oh, can you help with this? Ooh, no, I guess not. I guess not. Not this week. Uh-uh. Oh. I've been doing my hammer curls weekly. Damn, bro. Or I should have said nightly. Like Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley. So, like, ten years ago. Anyway... It is time for the big locks. I'm going to start it off with Jacksonville at Indianapolis. Plus three, Jacksonville. I hope to God you go on three again. It's, it's simple here. I'm going to lean in and tell you why. Big lock, big dick, big dick Nick Foles is back in action. He's back. That's it. That's it. Hammer hog. That's it. Yeah. He's going to be coming in. He's going to be swinging the ball, swinging his meat. Plus three. Colts are, uh, they looked like coming out of the gate. You know, everyone was nervous about Andrew Luck not being there and Jacoby Brissett. And we thought, all right, they got a good team here. They could do something. And then, you know, they got a little banged up. T.Y. Hill and Jacoby Brissett. The knee's there. It's hurt. You know, blah, 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 blah. And Jacksonville uh, plus three. Big luck. Two and eight on big locks. So... <laughs> Get on board. That was a, a third pick of the show. Yeah, but you're hot with big Three locks. 3-0. You're, you're hot with big locks. You're 1-0 in your last one. I'm 1-0. In your last one. big locks. So, so don't forget that. Yeah, well, I'm 9-1 big locks, and I did go 1-2 last week, but my one, I did tell you to take Seattle plus 6.5, and, and I also, we can re- replay the film, I did tell him to take Seattle money line. Oh, shit, dude. I wasn't supposed to wear green. I hope that doesn't f*** up the whole episode. It's fine. If it does, it'll look fine. I'll fix it. My big lock of the week is New England minus three and a half at Philadelphia. Philly's trash. They suck. Really miserable people live in Philly. Their fans are miserable. Their fans are dirty, disgusting human beings. I hate that city. I hate that team. I'm taking America's team over. Yeah, that's right. 
The Patriots are America's team, not Dallas. Teams don't don't lose in the playoffs 25 years consistently, no championships, and it's still America's team. The Patriots, minus three and a half, 16 and six against the spread off a loss since 2013. What are they coming off of? That's a great stat. Thank you. What are they coming off of? A loss. A loss. So I'm going to take the math. I'm going to take Uncle Bill. I'm going to take Daddy Tom. I'm going to take the New England Patriots. The defense gets back on track after a very lackluster performance in Baltimore two weeks ago. I'm taking New England minus three and a half. Big lock of the week. <clears throat> lock it in and f*** Philly. Have you ever said anything nice about Philly? No, and I never will. All right. Just wondering. There's nothing good to say about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just... Cheesesteaks overrated. Everything. All right. Actually, there might be footage of you saying something good about a cheesesteak on Fade the Public. We'll have to see if our editor is going to go and look that up because I don't know if he did or not. But thanks for stopping by, as always, every Sunday, 8.30 a.m., Bagels and Locks. Let us know who your locks are today, boys. Please uh, like, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, Praise my picks. Don't Don't fade out. Bagels and locks.